is an area of your mind. We must be trained to think like Christ. Our mentality, our perspective must be the perspective of Christ. Amen. Okay. Let me show you a very simple one. Go to Matthew chapter number 14. Matthew 14. I would read so many verses, but let me read from verse number 27. Because I'm interested in verse number 29. He says that immediately, Jesus is, is walking on the water. And when he's walking on, on the water, he comes to where they are. And they think he's a ghost and they are afraid. Now we join now. Immediately, Jesus speaks to them. Because maybe some of them wanted to jump into the water. There's a ghost. You would rather deal with a shark than a ghost walking on water. <laughs> immediately, Jesus spoke to them. He told them, be of good cheer. In other words, to the end, it is I. Do not be afraid. Look at verse number 28. Now, Peter was not asked a question, but he answered. <laughs> when we get to heaven, I want to see Peter. <laughs> because I want to understand from him, how was he hearing things? Jesus only told them, do not be afraid, it is me, Tulien. Now, Peter answered him, he said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. This dimension of a conversation cannot come out of your mouth if your mind is still tribal. Your mind is still at the level of your certificate. You know, I have a diploma in cooking. If you have a diploma in cooking, you cannot say, please command me to come on the water. This dimension of life, you cannot leave it. Amen. Look at verse number 29. It says, and Jesus will tell him, not so many things come. Why? Because according to Christ, whatever he's doing is not an impossibility. It's an everyday kind of a thing. So he tells Peter, not so many things, no, come. He does not teach Peter about flotation and, and buoyancy and all those laws that touches on water. No. He does not even tell Peter, oh, you know, sea water has this amount of hydrogen and this amount of oxygen. No. He only tells him, come. As in, what I'm doing is so easy. He tells him, come. So when Peter had come out of the boat, he walked on the water. Please tell preachers that Peter also walked on water. He did not just sink. Almost every time preachers preach this verse, this, this chapter, they only talk about how Peter sank. It's very unfair. Please give credit where credit is due. The boy walked on water before he doubted. So before you rebuke his sinking, first of all, walk the steps he walked. So your mind must be affected. 